Uh, the Colts minus one and a half at the Steelers. The total in this game at 45 and a half. This number flipped. Steelers were, what, a three-point favorite, two-and-a-half-point favorite. Yeah, two-and-a-half, three-point. They, yep. they look like trash and have looked like trash. So now the Colts swing back. Been a surprise, by the way. If you told me week five or six, uh, Steelers at home getting points. Uh, Colts this year, 10-4, and 8-6 and six against the spread. Pittsburgh, 11-3, 8-6 and, three, eight and six against the spread. Pittsburgh's lost three in a row outright as a 14-and-a-half-point fave against the Bills and then to Washington. So, what do you do with the records here, Marcus? I mean, like, what, what, do, what do we do with the Steelers? Yeah, I think you're going to see a ton of public action on the Colts this week after the way Pittsburgh looked at, you know, against the Bengals on Monday Night Football. It's a short week for them. I just don't trust Phillip Rivers on the road, and I don't, I, I don't trust Ben Roethlisberger either, but I think there's going to be so much action here that by the time we get to kick off at them, I wouldn't be surprised if that line creeps up to like two, two and a half. And I'm going to jump all over on the Steelers money line coming back home. I think this is a game where their defense is going, it's going to carry them, right? Yeah. I could see them easily getting two, three turnovers in this game, harassing Phillip Rivers, daring him to throw the ball deep. We're supposed to get a ton of snow here in Pennsylvania you know, over the next week. Rivers is not really a guy that plays well in cold weather. So I'm taking the Steelers here. And actually, I'm going to take the over on points as well. I think Pittsburgh's offense is going to score maybe into the mid twenties. I think the Colts will get close and we'll have the over hit. I like the, both of those things. I like the Steelers and I like the over, and I'm not sure which one I like more, but I wrote down um, in that order. This is kind of a contrarian angle and we all, we, 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 we overreact to these situations. And there's no doubt the Steelers have played bad. I just think they're going to play better. And I think in these moments, um, I find some value here, actually, frankly, to, with with Pittsburgh. That being said, Marcus, this is like one of those leap of faith games where if they come out and, and Indy goes up like 14-0, I, obviously I have the other side. It wouldn't necessarily shock me either. Like this is kind of one of those games where it feels like it's going to be all or nothing and you're probably going to know within the first eight to ten minutes. I'm really interested in your thoughts on, on this one, and maybe not so much the gambling. We'll get to that. But Eagles minus one at the Cowboys over under – 49 Eagles four nine and one five and nine against the spread Cowboys five and nine four and ten against the spread yikes uh, just collectively burning money left and right they did not cover against the Cardinals the Eagles but Jalen Hurts more than 400 total yards 40 D's just what what is your assessment I know you've had a lot going on so maybe you haven't uh dove into the Jalen Hurts like film archive yet I I mean this is impressive I didn't think we'd get even that this early from him yeah, I was a big fan of Jalen Hurts coming out of Oklahoma because he has everything you want from like a guy that's going to come in and play well right away, right? He's a fantastic athlete. He has a ton of experience in college playing at Alabama and Oklahoma. He's been in the playoffs. Uh, he can move around. He can make plays. I do think over time, defenses are going to catch up to him a little bit. They're going to challenge him to throw the ball down the field. He's got a good arm. It's not great, but you can see the lack of velocity. Yep. But his ability to just convert on third downs is something that Carson Wentz couldn't do. And whether it's with his legs or his arms, he has certainly given them a spark. And I do think they're building some momentum here. And I think the offense just makes way more sense with Jalen Hurts in there. So I've been impressed. I think he's going to have another big day against the Cowboys because this Cowboys defense isn't very good. They've got a bunch of injuries. Uh, so I, I, I like Philadelphia to win this game. And I like Hurts to have another one of these 300 yard total games, uh, two, three touchdowns, and for Philadelphia to score into the upper 20. Yeah, I like I like Philly. I like the over. They've kind of masked his deficiencies well um, and really highlighted what he can do, um, eliminating the negative plays, which has just killed them with Wentz, right? I mean, that's just been so back backbreaking. Um, protected the ball well. It's it's if you're an Eagles fan, you've got to be thrilled. And then, of course, and, we, and I talked about this last week, Marcus, like it really does start to up the intrigue and what they do with Wentz but for this specific game I'm with you and look we didn't talk much about the Cowboys pretty impressive offensive output last week I know you're yeah, sure you're looking at CD Lamb and some of the other guys like that that plays a part in the over as well I just I like Philly and I do I think they have some momentum Rams at Seahawks Seahawks mm. minus two over under 47 and a half 
Um, interesting game, interesting line. You know where the public is going to swing because Jets, 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 Jets. Rams nine and five, eight and six against the spread. Seahawks ten and four, very clean seven and seven against the spread. I like the Rams. I, I do. I think this is a bounce back, and 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 I don't think Seattle is fixed. Um, mm. I, I just don't. I've got concerns over this team. I think the defense has played played better. I just. I think the Rams are in line for probably a major bounce back here. Yeah, so this is a really fascinating game because the winner of this game is probably going to win the NFC West. Yep. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be in a better spot for the playoffs because if you're the three (laughs) seed in this scenario, right, you're probably going to play Tampa Bay. But if you end up being the five seed and you're that first wild card team, you're probably going to play Washington, right? So while you don't get a home game, I think I would rather play Dwayne Haskins in the Washington football team than Tom Brady in the first round of the playoffs, right? Uh, <laughs> these teams aren't going to tang. I'm not saying anything like that. Oh, I'm just true, saying it's, it's, it's a good point. It, it's it's a really weird game because the, the loser might actually be in a better position to go further in the playoffs than the winner. So I do like the Rams to win this game. I think oh. a lot of people are going to be off of them after how poorly they played to the Jets. Uh, remember, they did win the first matchup with Seattle. I think their interior defensive line with Michael Brockers and Aaron Donald are just going to dominate Seattle. Seattle's offense over the last four weeks, if you exclude their game against the Jets, they're averaging under 20 points per game. For some re- for some reason, this offense just isn't clicking like it was earlier in the season. I like the Rams to win and cover this week. Titans at Packers. Packers minus three and a half. The over-under 55 and a half. It feels like a big 12 game. Uh, Tennessee, 10 and 4, 7 and 7 against the spread. Green Bay, 11 and 3, 9 and 5 against the spread. So a couple of weeks ago, um, I was saying that I thought Tennessee was kind of done and unimpressive. They've covered four or five. They've won four or five. And and Marcus, look, I attribute that because when, when Derrick Henry gets cooking, and he's, and he's got a legitimate crack at 2,000 yards now going up against a rush defense this week, that's okay. Um, they they seem to cook, right? So this is a team with a ton of momentum, and I just love when they can just, like, Derrick Henry grabs, like, the star from, like, Super Mario Brothers and just, like, runs through everything. And that's what he's doing. <laughs> so this is a really interesting game because this is our Sunday night football game. And right now you have Mahomes is the favorite to win the MVP, but then Aaron Rodgers and Derrick Henry are the next two, right? I still think Mahomes is going to win it, and there's still value on betting him right now. But I think the winner of this game will will get so much MVP buzz that it wouldn't be shocking if they stole the award away, right? If if Derrick Henry goes for 150 and two touchdowns, and remember, Green Bay gave up over 100 yards to David Montgomery just a couple weeks ago. Yes. That run defense isn't very good. If he has one of these games and they upset the, the Packers on Sunday Night Football, all we'll be hearing about is Derrick Henry for the next week. Oh, I love If it. Aaron Rodgers has one of these games where it's four or five touchdowns against a really bad Titans pass defense, which you could certainly see, all of a sudden it'll be, hey, Aaron Rodgers has 44 touchdowns on the season. Green Bay is going to be the number one seed in the NFC. Why isn't he the MVP? Uh, so, that, again, a really fascinating game for narratives. I do like the Packers to win this. Tennessee's defense is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I'm looking for Green Bay to score 35 40 points in this game and to be a really really fun Sunday night football game okay I did a little research a little little uh you gotta get your weatherman on and I know you did that for Pittsburgh sure there's a there's a chance of snow which will be incredibly fun by the way it doesn't look like a ton of snow but there's a chance of snow Sunday night if that's the case like this is like the Derrick Henry high school game of like 45 carries for like 165 yards um I like the Titans here finally we can go our separate ways um perfect but but I I don't I just feel like Green Bay has been they're great and I and there's always this discomfort of going against Aaron Rodgers if you're gonna do this naturally. Um, but you've played the Bears, the Eagles, the Lions, Panthers, and it hasn't necessarily been overwhelming. And look, the Chiefs have kind of done something similar too. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna win this game. I just like I really like what I've seen with the Titans, and I think Derrick Henry just presents like this old school high school back angle that makes it really tough to figure that total just seems a little high too by the way if there is snow and he is going to run the ball you're going to be burning clock i'm going to stay away from the total because with the snow and everything who knows and you're right this has the ingredients to be kind of a fun high scoring game um but it's intriguing because that's just a massive massive number 